persimmon tree tonight. It's dropping a lot of persimmons. I think it's a very good chance I could get a shot tonight. It's going to be really close. That's um, what I need with a stick bow. It's a big persimmon tree right here. There's not a lot across the hill here. They seem to have a little milk run in the evenings, especially the They'll come over here and give me a shot. Y'all just watch them while I set up, string my bow. brother shot a little white and black speckled pig yesterday. It's the first thing he's killed with his compound. Uh, 
since he killed a deer two years back. He shot a little pig on the run. It was only about 60 pounds. Probably less than that. Probably more like 40 pounds. But we try to kill every one of them we can. We wish we didn't, we wish we didn't have any. Wow, I was pretty close. Find her because I never try to range find too much with stick bows. Well, that was fun. Definitely going to sharpen that one back up. Almost had my first kill with the longbow. Squirrel. So I guess as you can tell, the seriousness of this hunt has drastically broken down. It's almost 10 o'clock. Not feeling very confident. Thus the pot shots at squirrels at 35. I, I'm exaggerating, that's probably a 30 yard shot. My air is just super slow. Well, it's October 3rd. Um, you haven't seen anything because I didn't see anything. I saw a possum right at first light. And then nothing. So Jen just shot one. So I'm going to climb down and go help her look for it. It's 620. Uh, she was hunting under a persimmon tree. Uh, it's got a lot of persimmons dropping. And I, I saw a deer the other night. I thought she would get a shot, so I don't feel so good about this spot, and I haven't seen any deer, so I'm going to go over track it. I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute. It's sticking out of what? Like, I could still see the light, and then I couldn't see it anymore, so I was like, well, they carry on. Stop. I don't like this. <laughs> Too bad. This has to document your first boat kill. We documented you shooting in the yard. And then, now we gotta go make sure you actually got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. So which way do you come from? See, like, straight up, just charge over this hill. So it must have come from that way. When you sit down in the chair over here, you can't see over this little bit. <laughs> so he comes so right So he just in appears. On. I can't see it. So we came earlier while we were scouting and uh, set, set a chair up right there and kind of pulled this brush over in front of it. And it's uh, 17 yards from there to the tree. This tree you're talking about? He came charging up over this little hill right here. And uh, <laughs> he just came straight up to the tree and uh, he put his head down to eat. And I started to, to get my bow up to draw and he saw me. So I had to sit here like this <laughs> for like five minutes because he just kept trying to 
And he kept coming closer. He actually came to this side of the tree for a second, kind of like, kind of look at me. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh my he's, God. he's made me. It's, that's it. And that had to be like 12 yards. <laughs> and then, and I just kept still, and he kept like, he put his head down, and then he'd look up. And he put his gun, like he just did that for five more minutes. And then finally, he put his head down behind the tree for like two seconds. And in those two seconds, I like got the bow <coughs> and drawn and then held it there. And then he put his head back up and looked at me, but he was like broadsided. And so I like just kind of moved around until, you know, it was where I wanted and then like shot him while he was staring at me. <laughs> Man. And then he took off straight away from me. All right, so let's... So let's how close was it? So, it was about 17, 18 yards. He was on the far side of the tree? Yeah, but he was like right up under the tree. So he was like, Dang. you know, 19-yard, 18-yard yeah. shot? That's sweet. So I, I wanna That's the light-up knock right there. Still I stuck wanna, in the ground. I wanna... So, nice and bloody. <laughs> what color were those fletchings? They were white and green. <laughs> Another Christmas killers. Pete, smell the out. arrow. Now we got our blood dog to track him for us. All right, Pete. So he tore out of there? Yeah, like straight away. All right, Pete, go back. All right, you going to leave your arrow? Like, huh? Bring your weapon. Don't and put your arrow in your quiver. You want me? Okay. Yeah. Please, don't you guys watch hunting shows? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way they do it. How many inches of dirt did you kill? <laughs> okay. Hunting from a lawn chair. Anyways, because it's so oh, thin. A blood spot right you never there. get a good. Yeah, something flat. Oh, look at that. There's some bubbles that you want in your lungs. Lung blood. And there's blood over there, too. So he's probably bleeding out both sides. They're in there. I remember it got a little sparse in here, but I had seen him already at this point. He said, bump that, I'm going straight to him. <laughs> Holy crap. Jim, how do you shoot them where they don't go across the ball of our fence? <laughs> shoot them where they don't make it up. His little horns. <laughs> All right, that's a little Yeah. Horse. Dude, that's awesome. Dad. <coughs> Dang, Jim. I did it. You did do <laughs> it. Little horns. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Hot dog. Dang. He's a little cute. That was a good shot. I had 90, 110 <laughs> pound deer. His little spikes. <laughs> that's awesome. Done, done right. it. How long you been going after a bow deer? Three years. Well, this is the third year. <laughs> Long enough. Long enough. So, uh, I guess the monkey's off. Now we gotta do something. <laughs> All right. 